So I was just in a hearing waiting for my case to be called and I actually watched somebody get convicted of a DUI without even driving. Now, a lot of people don't know that this is possible. And so what I want to do is tell you how you can avoid getting a DUI next time you're out and about. So by the way, I'm criminal defense attorney, Hannah Akentoye. What I want to show you is exactly what you need to avoid uh, next time you go out with friends drinking. So this is the typical mistake that most people make. You go out, you drive to a location where you meet up with friends and you have all full intentions of driving back home. You don't plan on getting drunk. But what happens? You get drunk anyway. You get a little bit too tipsy or you get a little bit too drunk to drive home. So you go back into your vehicle and you just kind of sit there or some people go to sleep uh, hoping that the alcohol wears off. And this is the critical mistake that everybody makes. You go into the vehicle after you have been drinking. Now, the DUI laws, I think it's a misnomer, right? It's called driving under the influence, but it doesn't require that you drive. In most states, the law is intended to protect uh, individuals, uh, protect you from individuals who have been drinking and are now able to control something as massive as a vehicle. And so typically the way that you get the DUI is you're in the driver's seat of the vehicle and you have the ability to access and control the vehicle, i.e. you have the key in your, in your possession, you have the key in the ignition, or you have the car on, or you have the car running, or you have the AC on, or you have the heat running. In any of those circumstances, especially if you're in the driver's seat and you're able to control the vehicle, most of those situations will land you a DUI. So if you're ever drinking and you need to, you need to uh, have the alcohol wear off, don't sleep in the car. And if you have to sleep in the car, don't sleep in the driver's seat of the car. That's the worst place that you can sit after you've been, uh, after you've been drinking. So I, I hope that's helpful to you. If you have any questions, I know a lot of people mess up on this. If you have any questions at all, just feel free to message me here or on my website, mydclaw.com, and I'd be happy to chat with you further and answer your questions. I hope you guys stay safe out there and have a great day.